running an athlete, your feeding program is very important. We had a young lady that was from Washington that was here at Tech on the rodeo team. They unloaded hay off of the back of the trailer and I said, where did y'all get that hay at? And they said, it came from Colorado from the Decker farm. And I said, okay, I'd like a phone number. We got the phone number from the Deckers and uh, started ordering hay in here. And their hay is always so high quality. He sends us basically the premium hay that he has. Well, they started steaming their hay and all of a sudden the quality of the hay got exactly the same every time we open a bale. The flakes that we get out are all basically the same size. The leaves are connected to the deal and we never have any issues with that anymore. We had discussion where I was buying hay just uh, from the, uh, uh, the feed stores basically. And then I started buying it from some growers in this area and we couldn't get the same kind of quality every time. And I said, we're discussing it because we, you know, we have a lot of the Coleman's horses and I said, I've got to get somebody that has quality hay and has plenty of it. Because you know, we're feeding 100 horses here. We have 100 head. So we go through lots of hay. You know, 20, 30 bells is about what we feed a day. So we, I wanted a supplier, not just, just that had alfalfa, but that had quality alfalfa. Randy got a hold of the Deckers in Colorado, and it's, it's I don't know, I forget how long we've been dealing with them, but just great people. They deliver the hay to us. Randy and them unload it for us with their, with their equipment, the Coleman's. You won't get better hay anywhere in the nation. We feed a high quality feed, whether it's the alfalfa, the grains or whatever. We are very, very conscious of protein levels, carbohydrate levels. It's really important to feed a good product. If you want a good outcome, put in the good feed. Growing these babies is hard. You, you can't cut corners. And if you start cutting corners, that shows right away in, in how they're, they're developing. Are they developing the right bone? Are they developing overall? What's their body score? What, you know, how are they growing? Are they growing to the size you want? On and on. Well, when we're buying hay, we're looking for good green, solid bales with a lot of leaves on the stems. And I don't want anything that's dry or steamy. I, w I want the uh, real product and, and I won't buy it if it's been rained on. And their hay is put up so well that there's a lot of leaves. Trying to grow a body, we try to feed them the highest quality feeds we can. You know, clean feed, that, that, clean to me is the best adjective when you go talking about any kind of feed. Whether it's hay, alfalfa, sweet, any kind of feed, when, it, when it's clean, that's what I like. I don't like dust. I don't like anything but what they're supposed to have in their bodies. And they're steamed, that controls it. And the horses love it. It's got a fresh smell to it. It's got a different smell than non-steamed hay. You know, instead of eating stems, they're eating leaf. And that's where all the protein, all your energy, everything that you need out of alfalfa comes from that leaf. The consistency of it, the size of the flakes are always good. Um, you can see that, that's a really nice sized flake. Uh, not too big, not too little. Um, and it's that way all the way through. You know, you can look on both sides of your flake and they're the same, which is also nice. You can, not that much comes out. I mean, you don't, you just don't lose a lot of leaf. All, I mean, it's very, very consistent, very good quality hay. We, we train for some of the biggest, well, one of the biggest cattle feeders, two of them in the nation and they noticed it. And they are, you know, the cattle feeders are big nutritionists. But yeah, they've commented on this, this hay is very clean. Where'd you get this? A lot of leaf to this hay. Steamed hay. Oh, the horses love the hay. We can go through and we're feeding in the mornings. They're all at the feeders and they never make a move until all the hay is gone. With us, we know that when it comes in here on that, on that truck, it's gonna be great hay. We never have to worry about it. We don't, we don't want anything but steamed hay. 